Hello kids, how are you? I hope you are fine. I am Miss Amal and I'm teaching math for KG1. Our lesson for today is the clock. You're going to learn how to tell the clock. Look, I have something. This is a clock. What is this? A clock. Excellent. Okay. One more time. This is a clock. Okay. And can you see numbers? Yeah. There are some numbers on the clock. Okay. The numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the clock has the numbers from 1 to 12. Again, the clock has the numbers from 1 to 12. Can you see something else? Yes. These two hands. The clock has two hands. One is short and the other hand is long. The clock has two hands. One is short, yes, and the other one is long. Okay, before we start, tell me again, what is this? A clock, right? And the clock has the numbers from 1 to 12. And finally, it has two hands, the short hand and the long hand. Okay. Now, you are going to learn how to tell the time every time you look at the clock. Are you ready to start? Let's learn how to tell the time. To tell the time, all you have to do is to look at the short hand. Okay, this is the short hand. The short hand looks at number three. So, you're going to say it's three. Okay, let's move to this hand, the long hand. The long hand is on number 12. Yes, the long hand looks at number 12. When the long hand looks at number 12, you're going to say o'clock. Again, when the, short, when the tall hand or the long hand is on number 12, you're going to say o'clock. Repeat after me, o'clock, o'clock. Now it's your turn. Yes, o'clock. Okay, let's tell the time. First, you're going to look at the short hand and then at the tall or long hand. Let's start. The short hand is on number three. So, it's three. What about the long hand on number 12? So we're going to say o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, the short hand moved to number six. So now the short hand is on number six. How to tell the time? Yes, we're going to look at the short hand. The short hand looks at number six. So it's six. What about the long hand? The long hand is on number 12. So we're going to say o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock okay now the short hand moved again to number 10 
How to tell the time? Yeah, it's 10 because the shorthand looks at number 10. It's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay. Look at this one and try to tell the time. To tell the time, we are going to look at the short hand or the long hand first? Yes, the short hand. The short hand is on number 7. Excellent. So, it's 7. What about the long one? The long hand is on number 12. And when the long hand is on number 12, we say o'clock. So, it's 7 o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Got it? Let's move to this one. To tell the time again, tell me, we're going to look at the short hand first or the long hand? Yes, the short hand. And the short hand looks at number three. So we're going to say, yes, it's three. Okay, now look at the long hand. The long hand is always looks at number 12. So we're going to say o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. Okay, now the short hand is on number seven. So now it's your turn. Tell me how to tell the time. Yes, it's seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Okay. What about this one? The short hand is on number 10, so it's 10, okay? And the long hand is on number 12. We're going to say o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. That was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Bye.